In this video, we will be doing a low light test of the new iPhone 13 Pro Max. We will be comparing it against last year's 12 Pro Max. Let's see if Apple's claims about more light in their cameras are true, and let's see what effect this has on the overall video quality. Let's check it out. This year's biggest improvement in low light is without a doubt the 0.5X camera. As we can see, the old 12 Pro had a lot of noise in low light. And as we zoom in, we can see the noise reduction attempting to make a cleaner picture. This is especially evident in the buildings zoomed in here. By sheer contrast, the 13 Pro Max is much cleaner. We can make out a lot more detail in the signage on these buildings and there is far less visible noise. I don't know if this is processing, however the overall picture is far better. We can see far more detail in the apartment building shown here. The 1X cameras are more similar, however the most striking difference is the flare protruding from the street light. Look at the top right corner and the extreme level of flare. When we zoom in, we see a good amount of detail on the old phone. We can see a lot of noise reduction happening here, resulting in quite a soft image. Comparing this to the 13 Pro, we have far less flare coming from the street light. We can see far greater detail in the palm trees along the road and we can see a generally less bright exposure. We can see more detail in the signage. And as we can see here the flare is far better controlled. Looking at the telephoto cameras, we would expect the older model with its faster f2.4 aperture to outperform this year's f2.8 aperture as the older one lets in a lot more light. However, we can see a general softness in the 12's image and very heavy noise reduction. By contrast, this year's 13 Pro has far less noise reduction which results in more grain. However, we get a lot more detail from this image. The general exposure is less bright than the 12. Perhaps the exposure assists to crush some of the visible noise. We can see greater detail in the signage here. The edges of the letters on the sign are more crisp. I find this noise effect to be more pleasing too. Now moving on to the 60 FPS tests. The 0.5x camera here shows a lot of visible noise. We can see low detail, especially in the signage toward the left of the frame. The edges are generally soft. By contrast, this year's 13 Pro is far better at 60 FPS for the ultra wide. As we can see here, there is a lot more detail in the image. The only downside of this year's camera is the flaring from bright points in the image. However, the overall image is more pleasing because there is more detail and the noise is far more manageable. Judge for yourself using these examples. Like the previous 1X tests, the 1X cameras are quite similar. We can see a good level of detail and a good level of colour reproduction considering the low light with which this was shot. When we zoom in, we can see heavy noise reduction reducing the details in the flower petals. You'll be able to compare to the next shot to see a difference in processing. The image from this year's phone has a lot less noise reduction and a different sharpening protocol. 
I believe that there is more detail here and we'll be able to see this when we zoom in. There is less of that artificial noise reduction and smoothing effect going on. While there is slightly more noise, I find this image more visually pleasing. Now, when we look at the telephoto examples, we would expect the last year's model to perform better because it has a faster lens. However, we can see low contrast and a lot of smoothing going on. This picture is almost unusable. When we compare it to this year's image, we have to consider that this year's phone has a slower lens at f2.8 to achieve the 3x zoom. However, the less aggressive noise reduction has resulted in a lot more detail and a lot less flaring from bright points of light. We can see a more pleasing image here.